Yo, so this episode is going to be a lot of uh, odd jobs, so we're going to get the seat put in properly, we've got uh, some new wheels, uh, we quickly did a modification to the front wings just to uh, get away rid of the rust, um, I'm still going to do more to them wings, I've got some good stuff to put on them to kind of tart them up a little bit instead of buying new, because if you buy new, I think they're about 100 quid for a pair plus postage so I can't really bother spending that on it when I can just use stuff I've got in the garage so yeah let's get to it okay this is what the front wings look like they're pretty broken up so we're gonna be cutting that out and just putting extensions on since we need them with the new wheels uh, the new modification we've got to the suspension and uh, steering ge geometry so Let's get to that and see what we can do with these uh, extensions that I've got sitting about the garage. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep. And you and I, we got history. Yeah. Okay, that's um, cut out now. Uh, I just quickly done it and took a, basically took the measurement straight off the side here. And then uh, when it had the arch, I just lined it up with the arch. This part said the same with the two, so should be roughly right. I'm not caring too much because it's only a, a drift missile, so I don't know how long it'll last, but I cut out all the, the rot that was left. Half of the arch was rotten, so I've cut it out. There's still a little bit of metal there just to protect it from stone. Stones coming up and hitting the fiberglass arch, but that will do me and I'll stick them on the car and see how it looks. Okay, these wheels that we're about to show you, I got them from uh, eBay, but they're image image wheels, I think they are. Um, so yeah, I got them pretty cheap. I think they're £150 I paid for them on eBay. So here they are now. From these wheels to these ones. Okay, so, so I'm just gonna put some spacers in the back just to space it out a little bit. So I got a wee bit better stance. As you can see, it doesn't need to go that much. I think it's a 15mm spacer, 20mm spacer we got. So I'll just stick that on just now and we will change the lug nuts because I've took off the locking key and plus they're rusty. So we'll change them out. Okay, so this is the spacers. They're quite expensive spacers. I think it was 45, 50 pounds for these, but I want to have the uh, eccentric hub holder. I want to. I don't want to have the weight on the bolts. I want to have the weight in here. So these are the two wheels. So this is the front one. As you can see, it's a bit uh, bigger offset here from here up to here. It's a bigger offset. So this is the front one. And you can see here, this one just goes straight from the rim just straight flush. So this is where the spacers are going to go. I'm going to clean all this up and copper grease it. Have the thing on and copper grease the back of that as well. So that goes on like that. So yeah, it's quite a big bit different. So I don't know if I'll put the, the, um, these ones on the rear and this one in the front. So I've got a larger uh, track. So I'll have a wee bit more grip, but we'll see how it goes. I'll see what it looks like. Ok 
Okay, so the next job is is to fit the seat rails and stuff. I've actually got uh, side mounts to go on it and then the bucket seat. But what we need to do first is we need to bridge from here to here with some angle iron. Um, and then, because this side's already flat, so if we do angle iron here, then we should be able to bolt it down onto there and get the bucket seat in. So we'll do that now. Okay, so that's me cut it out and uh, I've just cleaned up the metal, so uh, cleaned the paint off so it's bare metal, cleaned this so it's ready to weld and it's the same way down here as well. So there's a little bit of big gaps to fill but yeah, it'll be okay, it'll be pretty strong anyway once you've welded over the back here and over the back here and down the side, it's not going to go anywhere so we'll get to that. <laughs> Okay, that's the first couple of welds done. I'm just gonna leave it like that for just now and I'm gonna get the whole seat put in, see what it looks like, and see if it's all level and all that good stuff. Okay, so why the seat is this far forward is because of Jo, she's not very tall and I'm six foot one, so we need quite a lot of adjustment or I would have had this just straight bolt in with these, but we need the uh, rails just so it's easier. So if I do some drifting then Jo can jump in and she can adjust it like, all the way up to the steering wheel basically. Um, so I'm just... I don't really know if I want to bolt these down or if I'll just weld them straight down. Um, yeah, don't know yet. Have a think. Maybe a cup of tea. Okay, that's us done. We're running out of daylight. Um, that's it all welded in. Uh, you'll probably want to see my welds, no doubt. Uh, they are far from perfect, but I know they're going to hold. So that's it. Um, I didn't video the steering boss I put on. I got the the steering wheel as well. This is all from Demon Tweaks. Uh, I don't advise getting cheap. Uh, quick release stuff um, it's the last thing you want falling off when you're drifting I'd go cheap like the handbrake I've got the samurai sword thing you know that was like 40 quid you know you can go cheap with that because if it if it fails or anything you're not gonna you know have a big accident but obviously if your steering wheel comes off then or your your wheel I've seen there uh, 
cheap wheels they come off here they just the whole ring comes off so yeah don't don't go cheap because you just buy twice handbrake stuff like that non-safety stuff just yeah do whatever you want so yeah this is the seat in happy days and we can move it forward to a uh, short arm joe and then i can move it all the way back for me so yeah happy days